Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to deal with the other type of stop motion clamp washer uh, that you'll find on a non-potted motor machine uh, like a 66, a 99, or a 306 uh, like you see here. Now, in the last video I showed you how to remove the stop motion clamp washer on a potted motor machine uh, but Bill Homan and uh, one of the person over at the Vintage Singers Yahoo group pointed out that that's not the universal type of washer. There are different types of washers found on different machines and I should show you how to put this one on because it's a little bit different. Okay, now if you remember the stop motion washer that we looked at from the 2012 had these little dots or bosses on it but this one has got instead tabs. Uh, this washer looks more like a propeller and these three tabs are what keeps the set screw in the stop motion wheel in the right place. Uh, and what Bill had suggested I point out to you is that with this type of washer it might not be obvious how it goes back on. In the last video I showed you how to install it correctly so that it wasn't upside down. But the problem with this type of washer is that you might inadvertently install it backwards since there's no dots on it to tell you which way is out. So I'm going to show you how you figure out which way is out these two tabs here and here, what I'll refer to as the ears, if you look at those two ears in the middle, they actually ramp upwards a little bit. And that direction that they go upwards towards is always outside. So that's so you know you're not placing it on backwards. Another way you can kind of check is if you look on the inside, as long as you're using an original Singer part, you're almost always going to see Simanco uh, Singer stamped the company name and a part number on the inside. Uh, I've only ever seen one of these washers that did not have ears that curved outwards and that was on a 319 but I could still tell which way it went on because there were words stamped on the inside. Okay so now we figured out how we can make sure that we're not putting the washer on backwards and now it's just a matter of whether we're putting it on upside down or not. Um, and it's basically just, uh, if you didn't take the time to mark the shaft in advance so you don't know which way it goes back on, just give it a shot. Uh, you know, you get a 50% chance of getting it right. If we try putting this on this way, put the stop motion wheel back on, and then try tightening up the set screw. Okay, now I can see right here, the set screw does not want to go in as far as it should, which means it's hitting the tab on the washer back there. So clearly I've got this thing upside down. So we just remove the stop motion wheel, flip the washer over, and then try this again. See if we get it right. Okay, this time I can tighten up the set screw. It goes in all the way, no problem. And when I test it out, Perfect. See, so now we've got the right range of motion between standard mode and bobbin winding mode, which disengages the shaft and the balance wheel. Okay, that's it.